Now watch the adventures of Muhammad Ali. Sure is a long way from from something. Now that's really heavy, Damon. Hey, Uncle Ali, race you to the creek. Sure. You want a head start? Go ahead. Hit it, Hondo. Hey, Damon, you better slow that pony down. And let you catch me? No way. Damon, don't you even try to jump that. <laughs> Come on now, Damon, easy. Now you're winning. Don't panic. Easy now, not so fast. Easy. Nikki, ride back to the ranch. Have Mrs. McBride call a doctor. And stick to the trail. Hmm, I see. Well, uh, keep him warm till I get over there. And uh, don't move him if you can help it. Now come on, take it easy. Just hang in there, Damon. Everything will be okay. Take your Uncle Ali's word for that. I sure hope that doctor makes it here before dark. 40 miles on that road is like 400 anyplace else. Isn't he flying kind of low? If that fool flew in, Lord, he'd be sharing the sheep. Well, hello, champ. But uh, where's the patient? The patient's here. But where's the doctor? At your service, champ. Dr. Orville Johnson, M.D. Well, Damon, that's as much as I can do out here. I'll have to get you back to the clinic and take a few x-rays. Doc, are you trying to tell me that you want to fly him out of here? No smoking. Fasten seat belts. the worst. I'll never forget the big blizzard of 51. How do you feel there, Damon? Fine. He's a tough guy like me. Hold tight. We're going in. Everybody okay here? Damon? Yeah, uh, I, I think so. Doc, I don't know why, but I'm beginning to believe in you. Well, with the cast on for six weeks or so, you'll be as good as new. 
Which is a lot more than I can say for old Bessie. Yep, the plane looks like it could use a few patches. Yeah, I guess old Bessie's past her prime. Need a replacement pretty bad. I was hoping to win that. Which reminds me. Grand prize for the flying contest. Hello, Ben. Uh, Wilbur here. Uh, I'm afraid we're gonna have to pull out of the contest. Oh, Bessie dropped a wheel. She isn't fit to fly. Hey, Doc, none of this loser talk. When it comes to flying, you're the champ. Listen, Doc, the least we could do is to help you to fix it up. No time to fix her up. Well, how much time do we have? Less than an hour. Well, let's get started. I would have to look around for a block and tackle to hoist her. I've been looking around for one, but... Look, Doc, your search is over. This is my block, and this is my tackle. Okay. Almost done. Take your time, Doc. This baby is as light as a feather. I don't see an airport. That Dr. Johnson doesn't need any airport. He could land a jumbo jet in a bean patch. There's the clinic. Hey, Damon. You're OK. Sure, want to sign my plaster cast? Uncle Ali did. Where is Ali? Now, where is he going? Yeah, Dr. Harris has been my co-pilot for 10 years now. He's a veterinarian, flies out of St. Helena. Hey, Doc, at this speed, it'll take forever. Can we go in it faster? Oh, 15 minutes with this tailwind? 15? Man, that's still too late. Attention, please. All contestants, please report for flyby instructions. It's a fine day to land ourselves a grand prize. Wouldn't you say, Ren? Sure, Rex, but we got some pretty tough competition. <laughs> Final call for contestants. Pilots, please stand by to start your engines. <laughs> it's a cinch, Ren, a cinch. Cinch to have some fun, anyway. Our first contestant, the Condor. Next, the Scimitar. Round one, Doc. Bessie, unfortunately, has failed to report. <laughs> Bessie! That was a smooth move, Doc. As smooth as the Ali shuffle. Jenny Curtis there. Finest crop duster west of the Mississippi. How about those guys in that beehive? Are they crop dusters too? No, just a couple of Sunday pilots. Rex Burton and Chuck Wren. They're the county cut-ups. Local comics. Peculiar sense of humor now and then. But they mean well on the whole. Good flyers! Dr. Johnson, glad to see that you can make it for another year, Doc. Uh, hello, Rex. Uh, I'd like to stay and talk to you, but I, I have to find my co-pilot. You know who that is? That's Muhammad Ali! Oh, so what? Sorry, Wilbur. Your co-pilot got an SOS call from a sick cow. Can't you fly solo, Doc? You don't need no backseat pilot. Rules say I do. Well, it's too bad after all your trouble getting me here. Tragic piece of luck. But you know, Doc, it's actually for the best. How's that? Well, let's face it, you're no spring chicken anymore. The excitement of the contest could be hazardous to your health, eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, but seriously, Doc, flying is best left to us younger guys. Now, don't you agree, Mr. Ali? To all pilots, prepare for the qualifying round. Attention. 
attention, folks. Got some good news here. Play number two, Bessie, is back in the contest. I think you blew it, Rex. They don't call him the greatest for nothing. Now, what does a boxer know about flying? Mm. Dr. Wilbur Johnson's co-pilot is now Muhammad Ali. Did he say? Dr. Wilbur Johnson's co-pilot is now... That's what I thought he said. Now leading off the precision flying exercise will be Burton and Wren in the Queen Bee. Don't forget points are deducted from any pilot who misses the target lines on either the takeoff or the landing. up there now let's see him stop that crate hey didn't I tell you Ren we don't have to worry about old Doc Johnson sorry about that champ no problem Doc it's the last round that counts Last but not least, Bessie. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is really going to be funny. Hand me the battery, Ren. Oh, sure. Oh. Oh. Well, hurry it up. Okay, okay. Now give me the rest of the stuff. Come on, come on. There. That does it. You better wash up, Rex. That battery acid will eat through anything. Didn't get any on your clothes, did you? Of course not. Do you think I'm stupid? Oh, no. Oh, good morning. By the way, Mr. Ali, I've heard that you're quite a poet, so I made up a little rhyme of my own. <clears throat> it might come as a shock if they don't win the prize, but just watch at the dock and Ali takes a dive. <laughs> That's pretty good, Ray. You can swallow that grin. 
you've got nothing to smile at. Cause the dark has to win when Ali's his co-pilot. <laughs> Attention, please. The freestyle follow the leader stunts. Final event of the contest will now commence. Any plane that fails to perform the stunt of the leader is eliminated. And the winner of this event will receive a big 100 points. Start your engine. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> Termites, I guess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another disappointment. Now the Firefly announces its withdrawal due to technical difficulties. <laughs> technical difficulties. What a wonderful sense of humor the man has. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Everybody's dropping out before they even leave the ground. The Pegasus got away okay, and there goes the swallow. Cut the engine! Doc, I smell a rat, and I have one rule that I always go by. I never go up an airplane when I smell a rat, particularly when it's ticking. Don't keep looking at them, Ren. You'll make them suspicious. Mm, too late for that, Rex. Don't let the spoil sports. Well, let's go stake our claim on the grand prize. I've got a gut feeling who pulled that dirty stunt. We can talk turkey with those turkeys after you win the contest. Okay, snug up your seatbelt, champ. Let's see what old Bessie can do. And now the moment we've been waiting for, Burton and Wren in the Queen Bee will initiate the first stunt. Now let's see how their nerves stand up to this one. Shoot? 
Now don't get up tight, Doc. I'll get you back in somehow. Speed it up, Rand. Speed it up. They might start another stunt. We can do anything they can do better. and fans everywhere. I'm so proud. This brings tears to my eyes to accept for Doc Johnson this beautiful prize. The Doc's taking care of a couple of folks who wound up at the end of their own bad jokes. They played their pranks on the oldest guy. They didn't know they picked on the champ of the sky. So don't forget these important words. Practical jokes are for the birds. Hey, Uncle Ali, how about it? It's got 200 horsepower. 200? <laughs> Look, Damon, when you have figured out how to handle one horse, then we'll talk about it. Now, this may sound strange, but I haven't always been the heavyweight champion of the world. At one time, I was a contender, and I didn't always win. Yep, that's right, nobody does. The first time I fought Joe Frazier, I got whipped, but I didn't quit. I just kept on until I got better. I trained even harder, and the next time we fought, I won. A little disappointment shouldn't get you down. It should make you stronger for the final round. Take it from the champion of the world. Saturday. This is your lucky day. Ah! L-Ray Network celebrates Jean-Claude Van Damme. With seven hard-hitting classics. I make them pay. Jean-Claude Van Damme Marathon. Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. on L-Ray Network.